Hey friends, we are continuing our delving into Link, the language integrated query, as we continue to learn C Sharp today. Last episode, we had created this cool query here where we have the query syntax integrated into C Sharp and we're checking on some scores, looking for the score that's above 80. And then David noted that these are keywords that are integrated into language like from, and where, and order by. And then we noticed that the result of this query, the score query, is an I enumerable of string, an enumerable list of strings. And then it had a bunch of methods. We call it hanging off of them. It, it, the, the count method hangs off of score query. And in fact, I can go down here and say score query dot and see a bunch of different things. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Link is a really, really exciting uh, thing. The one that I'm most excited about is to list. Because before, you note, we did a for each. But I could say uh, string, I could say list, list of, of string. string. Say list of string. Uh, and we'll just say uh, scores equals, or my scores maybe, equals score query dot to list. And at that moment, we're going to get rid of that for each. That's when that query happens. Right at that moment. The query is defined here, and we're going to end up with a list of those scores. Now, I said a list of strings. Let's change that to a list of ints. We're going to change this to score. Change that to an integer. So now we have a literal list of these ints. Okay? Yep. So we're not outputting them. So if I, if I compile this, it's going to just build. It'll work just fine, but it's not going to do anything. Right. And if I run it, it's going to do what's called a no op. Nothing at all. No operations. Yep. Didn't do nothing. Okay. But we could then for loop over those scores if we wanted to for each bar score in my scores console.write line score. Oops. Go, come back over here, we'll get our numbers back again. All right. Okay. Um, flex score. Now, interesting. Yeah, those are all the ones over 80. That's right. Cool. You said that there's a way to write this query differently. This is a language integrated query, but you can do it with methods, and it's worth seeing that. Yep. So, C Sharp today, when it takes your language integrated query, it actually compiles down into a sequence of method calls on that scores objects. Um, let's do a manual translation to show people like kind of how this works. Okay, so I'm going to comment this out. Yep. Control K, Control C, and you'll notice right now that score query no longer exists. Right. Okay, we do have scores because the scores are up here, and we're going to write our code down here. Make a new so score query. You, let's do score. var because var is much so cooler for this. Var score query equals okay scores dot where. Ah. So the equivalent of the where clause okay. is this where method, where okay. function. All right. And we're going to have to write what is called a lambda. Okay. We won't talk exactly about what the lambda does or what it is, but it's the equivalent of writing that expression. Okay. Uh, the where score is greater than 80. So we're going to declare s as a variable name because s for scores. Okay. And we're going to do arrow, your favorite. Okay, a little rocket ship. A rocket ship. This is something <laughs> that you have not seen yet. This is brand new. You look at that. Let me zoom in on the rocket ship. It might look like a equals <laughs> then or greater than, but that's not a thing. That's right. It's saying goes to. Yeah, so s is actually a, a parameter of a method, of a function. Okay. And the right-hand side is the body. So it's, it's a very small function. Okay. And we're going to say s dot, s, sorry, s is greater than 80. Such that. Such that, yeah, s is greater than 80. Not goes to, but such that. Yep. Okay. So that, that condition is the same condition that's there in the where. Okay, so, so this is line 7. Correct. Okay. Then dot, order by descending. You're chaining these. Yeah. Order by descending. Yep. Same thing. S goes to S. Okay. Yep. And then dot select. Can I put these actually, on different should, lines? That, that should be it. Yep. I think, no, I think you're good, actually. You're, you're good to go from there. Really? Yep. Is Nothing that else. Because if you don't select, you get the result of those two no, operations. No, it's mad at me. So no, no, so select what? Delete, delete select. Don't need select. Yeah. 
the select is implied. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you That's think right. that'll do the exact same thing? Yeah, should. All right, let's find out. So, all right. C sharp takes your beautiful syntax and all those keywords this and is the beautiful compiles syntax. it into those calls. Okay, so let me see if I can understand this because some people might be like, I don't know, man. <laughs> let's call this score query two. Yep. And we'll compare the two. This is link. Yep. This is also link. It's both link. Yep. Okay. And in the top one, you get those nice keywords. The syntax highlights nicely. We put it all in multiple lines. I find that very readable. Yeah. On the bottom one, it's kind of like chaining functions. Before we said like list.add. We didn't say list.add.count.this. Dot 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 dot. Yeah. That's one big line. That's right. right one, there. one different thing about how this works compared to like a list.sort is this does return something every single time. So much like strings don't uh, string operations don't mutate the string itself and change the string. Mm -hmm. These operations don't change the underlying scores list. Okay. So it's the same pattern. That's a great reminder. So this list of scores remains the same. Correct. It, is, it remains immutable. Immutable. We, did, we, not we didn't change mutated, it. Not change it. So why would I pick this if I find this so attractive? It purely comes down to style. I've seen people use either in their code. I, I kind of prefer the first one as well. Mm -hmm. The second one can be more succinct sometimes. You can see we didn't yeah, have to I say mean, it's less, select. Less words, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I, I didn't have to say from or select. Those mm -hmm. two things are kind of implied by just using, by just having the where and an order by. That could be a reason to, to, to pick one. No, that's a good other. point because yeah. people pointed out before that when we were hovering over this, these two items, these two lines are that are individually selected are required. But they're also implicit. Exactly. Yep. Very you got cool. It. Interesting. So link you can learn more about in the Microsoft Learn article that we were on, which is called Language Integrated Query. We have dug fairly deeply into it, but let me tell you, there's entire books written on language integrated query. It is incredibly powerful, but it, you need to understand what we've been talking about all during our day to day, the basic type systems the lists of things, the generics, and they started to build the on loops. top of each other. And once you've got that, you see how the loops and everything fit together. Yep. Very cool. We are digging into Link and having a great time learning beginning C-sharp.